No, your latest news update from Western Mass News. I'm Jordan Jaglinder. Here's your latest news update from Western Mass News. Two people are in custody tonight following a shooting at South Shore Plaza in Braintree. One female was transported to an area hospital with non life threatening injuries after shots rang out a little after 430 this afternoon. Police believe this was a targeted shooting. Triple E is back in Massachusetts. The state health department confirming the eastern equine encephalitis virus in mosquitoes. It's the first case of the virus this year in the state. It was detected right here in Western Mass in a mosquito sample collected on July 1st in the town of Orange in Franklin County. Today's finding increases the risk level of Triple E to moderate in Orange and Athol. Six Flags Great Adventures in New Jersey is reopened for business. The amusement park welcomed season pass holders today and it opens to everyone tomorrow, July 4th. Reservations to go to the park must be made online. Park goers will undergo temperature checks and once they arrive, they'll go through thermal imaging and touchless bag screening. Patrons must wear face coverings in the park at all times. Six Flags New England will have to wait until phase four to reopen. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown. Overnight tonight, we are still a little bit muggy, but we will start to feel those dew points lower as we head toward morning and temperatures cool into the upper 50s. We will have some patchy fog around for tomorrow morning as well. Then for your July 4th, temperatures in the valley climbing toward the middle 80s in the afternoon. A little bit cooler in the hill towns with a slight chance for an isolated shower in that area, but the valley should stay mainly dry. And that shower chance for the hills probably before 3 p.m. Throughout the rest of the evening and night, it's actually looking pretty nice. Temperatures though will get a little toasty tomorrow, but it warms up even more on Sunday with highs climbing to around 90. We will have plenty of sunshine with a slight chance for a stray shower or thunderstorm by the end of the day. Then as we head into next week, the heat is on. Temperatures are expected to be back to the upper 80s both Monday and Tuesday, but Wednesday out through Friday, we are expecting a potential heat wave with high humidity and lots of 90 degree temperatures. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.